The Brain Center is about bringing together a community across the University of Florida, as well as other interested stakeholders who are interested in advancing the cause for all forms of acquired brain injury. We see that through a robust interdisciplinary team of professionals who are part of the team and taking care of people with complex injuries. We see this in our research mission. We bring together a variety of people from many different disciplines to do innovative, uh, synergistic, collaborative research. And we have a, a very active education mission at every level of learner. As we make more advances in our research, we try and apply that directly to the clinical, expert clinical care that we're providing. Within the university here, we connect with many labs to understand the continuum from the head injury to DNA alterations, RNA, protein, metabolism, and how this leads in a broader perspective to changes in brain function. Working in healthcare, it's, you know, very often it's piecemeal. And so it's just wonderful that patients can come here and get everything in one place. And the fact that they come here and they know that we all communicate with each other and that um, they're getting what they need and they finally feel like they're getting some relief and can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's really pretty special. So I address the physical facets. So we talk about walking and balance, coordination, autonomic symptoms, getting them back to their exercise routine. In addition to working with our occupational therapy who goes right alongside us and does more of the activities of daily living, tolerance to activities, and vision. Among the broad neuroscience interests at the University of Florida, there are really three kind of categories represented under the McKnight Brain Institute banner. One of them is neurodegenerative diseases, one is more like sensory and behavioral neuroscience, and then the third, the one that I'm most involved with, is acquired neural injury. And so that includes things like traumatic brain injury, spinal cord injury, stroke, things that happen to you after you were born and, and after you've lived part of your life. We have this amazing confluence here at the University of Florida of being a top 10 university, as well as being a top 10 university in sports. So we're able to bring together the best of all the scientific and clinical knowledge combined with an amazing opportunities for a variety of athletic opportunities for our fellows. Currently we're doing a study that uses instrument and mouthpieces to measure impact forces and estimate rotational forces that, that would affect the brain. They have some instrumentation in them that can measure these forces and we have video that we can link up to those impacts to get a better idea of what really happened on the play. One system that our study and, and other schools that are in this project that are looking at this uh, is uh, inside the helmet sensor system, which is here. And that system is actually inside of helmets like this. We have had the amazing opportunities uh, with our fellows and with our experts to be able to provide consultation and interfacing with a variety of other professional sports leagues, be it from NASCAR uh, for training their new drivers to Major League Baseball. We're now the official National Medical Center uh, for Team USA, and we had the privilege of working with their medical teams to give them more advanced training in concussion management leading up to the Paris Olympics. We have a strong link between head injuries and the chronic consequences of dementia. In my lab, we focus on repetitive mild head injuries and how those connect with dementia later in life through molecular mechanisms. My particular research is focused on the role of the autonomic nervous system after traumatic brain injury and other conditions like long COVID. So we're looking at how the nervous system can get dysregulated and how that can be a feedback or sometimes causative loop for symptoms. We have funds that we can use to help augment and supplement and pay for uh, research for younger investigators through our SEED award program. If you are applying for other grants like NIH grants, like R01 grant, R21 grants, we definitely really need uh, pilot data. And the SEED award definitely supports uh, to generate pilot data. So I've come to UF for the Sports Neurotrauma Fellowship specifically because of the amount of flexibility in the program and the unique opportunity for sideline work here. This year, me and my co-fellow Haley, we have been a part of a, a biomarker study, something we could test in the blood to see if that's another thing that could be used to 
evaluate how someone's doing, how someone's recovering. We have several ways of bringing the community together. We do this through chalk talks, we do this through outreach events, we sometimes have study groups, but one of the biggest uh, features that we have are the brain building events. So these are talks that we bring together. We usually match up a preclinical researcher and a clinical researcher around a theme that has to do with some form of acquired injury. And what we talk about during those times is digging deep onto those aspects. And oftentimes what comes out of that interactive discussion is new research ideas that bring together different disciplines or different ideas. One of the things that we are incredibly proud of as the Brain Center is that we were designated by the state of Florida's Department of Health as their partner in brain injury care. And through that partnership, we were actually awarded a federal grant from the Administration for Community Living to work with the state of Florida to develop a statewide plan for those with acquired brain injury. It's been a, uh, a very innovative and robust partnership between academia, between state government, between the federal government, and between patient advocacy. The work that we've been able to do at Florida has been recognized, and especially with our affiliations with the Brain Injury Association of America. And I'm very proud that we've been asked to provide more expertise and consultation and play a more active role for the uh, national strategy directions of the Brain Injury Association of America. What we've built also that's very unique here at, at Fixel and UF is a neurobehavioral therapy clinic. And basically what that does is oftentimes you know, mental health and psychology is integral in recovering and managing persistent symptoms after injury. So we built a clinic that specializes in that. It's our job to really create new treatments, treatments that never existed before. And I think we're on the, the forefront of several new therapeutics that were originated here. It's really about the C's. It's about community and it's about collaboration. And kind of that is hopefully what one sees when they come here and that is really the dynamic that's allowed us to kind of move things forward and to be where we are. And we're very excited about what lies ahead. Thanks for watching this AAN TV feature. Now an important disclaimer. Content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.